160 pounds. He's from the Big Apple, New York City, New York. As a professional, 24 victories, 4 defeats, 15 KOs, ranked number two in the world by the WBC. Introducing the challenger, Iran, the Blade Barkley. Also weighing at even 160 pounds. As a professional, 45 victories, only two defeats, 38 KOs. The only man in boxing history to hold four titles in four divisions. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan, the former world welterweight champion, the former world super welterweight champion, the former world light heavyweight champion, and now. and I ran Barkley, the challenger, 24 and 4, 15 KO. The traditional front gold colors, Emmanuel Stewart heading things up. He has flatly predicted that Hearns would knock out Barkley within the two rounds. Well, again, watching him train Tommy in the gym, he had Tommy with a lot of lateral movement and a lot of good stiff left jabs. Scheduled for 12. The Hitman with that rare commodity, one punch knockout power. Well, he can sure throw that right hand right down the pipe if the opportunity presents itself. No question about that. 25 of his 38 KOs within the first three rounds in his illustrious career. Barkley is not a very hard guy to hit, but he does take a good punch and he's a real tough guy. An extremely physical, brawling type fighter. Almost a throwback to the crowd pleasing middleweights of the past. Punches and accepts punches at a furious pace. A big left by Hearns. Trying to finish him off early. I ran Barkley was able to get one left hand in there, and boy, that's his plan. Can he weather can he get through this kind of power to do it though? But he has to look at the guy he's fighting. Yeah. He's looking at the floor and throwing punches. That's not too healthy. <laughs> no. Burns with that devastating right and awesome punching power. Best weapon for Barkley, the left hook. You know, with Tommy Hearns, if I if I worked with uh, Iran Barkley, I would tell my fighter, if you slip a punch, punch. If you block a punch, punch. Or if he hits you with a punch, try to punch. Because Tommy has one bad fall. He throws beautiful punches, fast hands, power. But a lot of times after he throws a combination and hits you with a punch, he drops his hands and poses. And you can nail him. And the question is, can Barkley slip the famous right hand of Thomas Hearns and then nail him with his left? Saw, you saw Barkley punch back. I have to tell you, I don't think Tommy Hearns looks as sharp early as we've seen him in recent fights. He's throwing his punches with not the same leverage. He may knock Barkley out, but right now, he's not throwing his punches with the leverage he has in earlier in early in other fights recently. Well, that's right, because he nailed Barkley, and Barkley, he didn't knock Barkley off balance, and Barkley was able to wing right back. Barkley, a real banger, doesn't want a boxer be cute. All right, and I think Barkley has already cut over the left eye, and that's one of the one of the handicaps that Barkley has uh, is the fact that Hearns can bust him up, and his eyes have a tendency to swell. So the longer this fight goes, the worse it can be for Iron Barkley, not the better. That is very interesting because a lot of people thought the other way around, but now with those cuts, things in Hearns's corner. Unless, of course, Tommy Hearns' legs do go 
if this goes to the fifth or sixth round, if they can stop the bleeding of that cut, but that may be a big if. Final seconds, round one. Iran Barkley, who has the ability to wear his opponents down, we shall see. Round two is scheduled for 12, the WBC Middleweight Championship. Thomas Hitman Hearns in the gold. Iran the blade Barkley in the black with the red trim. Cut over the left eye of Barkley. Is that right by Thomas Hearns? Good stiff right hand by Tommy Hearns, but it didn't move Barkley at all. goes that Barkley's going to swell up and bust up. I think Byron has to let it all hang out and try to nail Tommy early. But Hines does have that, that educated left hand and plenty of snap. And he is so quick. He has really built up his upper body. He's been working out with weights, Tommy Hearns. Came to the weigh-in a, a pound overweight, but quickly came back and was on target at 160. Wasn't even a pound actually. Uh, depending on how he had to lose that weight, uh, it, it could harm him. Good left hook, hook by Iran Barkley. Double left hook. And when he goes with the box to the body in the head with that double left, he can be very dangerous. I personally think Barkley's defense a little better than I anticipated it being early in this fight. Absolutely, but now, Al, he's bleeding from the mouth. Coming up to a minute remaining, round two. Barkley has to be a, a bit confident right now, but it could be false optimism. And Eddie Aliano did a great job on that left eye of Barkley. That's why you need professional help in the corner with these guys. People forget about Hearns' left hook to the body. It is superb. What it did to James Schuler in one round was amazing, and he's starting to work it against Iran. And now that cut on Barkley's left eye looks very, very angry again. Final seconds, round two. They're yelling right hand from the corner of Hearns. A right cross to finish the round by Thomas Hearns. And round three, scheduled for 12. And this is Barkley's brawling style. You learned this apparently from watching the tapes of Juan Roldan against Hunters. He's getting very low and getting under the jab in the right hand. Well, it took one big left hook by Roldan. If he would have landed another one, it would have been a different result. He had Tommy in real bad trouble. Just missed Barkley's head. Well, Olajide hurt Barkley and put him down with a left hook. And Sir Tommy saw those, that in the films, but he has not been able to get his own in as much as he'd like. And the eye is open again. Barkley's left eye is open. Plenty of time left in the round. A little low. Straight to the body by Hearns. Great body shots by Tommy Hearns. Well, that's the way he was working in the gym, Al. Good jab, good jab, set it up, hook to the body. And there it is again. Emmanuel Stewart, with an inches to our left, loved it. Those body shots have hurt Iran Barkley very badly. The crowd sensing something. 
continues to go to the body with a left uppercut. Barkley's punches have slowed up a great deal. Keep them downstairs, the words from the Hearns corner. This is very much, I think, like what Don, Tommy Hearns did to James Shuler, because everything in that fight flowed off the left hook to the body, and that's what's happening tonight.